Hey friends, it's Quenby, the Grateful Queen, here on YouTube. Happy Friday, or Friday, as we like to say on this live video. Every Friday on the channel, I do a live reseller community night, I like to call it. And it's just a night where resellers get together and talk about all things reselling online in 20. 21. I see some friends. Hi, everyone. I see some friends starting to join us in the chat. There will be a live chat. And if you're watching the replay, the live chat will stay up so you can see who is here and what we were talking about. So if you're in the chat, please introduce yourself. Remind us what your actual name is. Tell us where you are in the country and give us a little check in about how reselling is going for you right now. Today is Friday, January 22nd. 2021, the start of a brand new year. We've been talking a lot on this channel about goals for 2021. So we would love to hear about anything that you're working on your business and how we can support you. This channel is a lot about encouragement and education about reselling, but a lot about encouraging you in whatever it is you want to do with your reselling business online. If you happen to be new here, welcome. I'm Quinn B. I'm a part-time reseller. I've been selling on eBay for 10 years and Poshmark a few years, and I mostly sell women's clothing and fashion stuff. We have to first just acknowledge these sleeves, don't we? Because they are big and lacy. I got this in a thread up rescue box. You know that I love buying thread up rescue, rescue boxes to get inventory for my reselling business. And sometimes one of the perks is I get to wear things a few times before I sell them. And where else could I wear this other than at a Friday party with my reselling friends? I'm so happy that you are here. I have a lot of things I want to talk about tonight, but I'd love to hear any questions or concerns that you have, anything you're working on so that we can definitely be sure to support you however we can in the chat. I'm so happy to be here, friends, because before doing this video with you, I was working on my taxes. Mm, that is a big deal. As resellers, we're self-employed. We run our own businesses. And I do hire an accountant to do my taxes, but I have to organize all the information for my accountant. So I have to track everything. I personally do that using GoDaddy Bookkeeping, which helps, but it's still a ton of work. So let me know if you have any questions or comments about that, or how do you do your taxes is it like a stress for you or do you have it all dialed in? I'm sure there are some people here who are newer to reselling that would love to hear how you manage the whole tax thing. I'm not an accountant, but I'm happy to answer any questions just based on personal experience. Let's say hi to some friends. I see that James from the Antique Boutique was here first taking over Holly's spot. Holly, I wonder if she's gonna make it tonight. I saw on Instagram that she got like a giant pallet of stuff. So hi, James. And he says he was first here earlier, then it refreshes and now I'm first again. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for helping me to moderate the chat as always. You're so helpful. My friend, Courageously Thriving, who's Michelle is here. Happy Friday. If you're at home, make sure you are doing your Friday shoulders and it's Friday. Does that mean anything to you? I work really seven days a week, so it's not a huge deal in my life that it's Friday, but that's also a quarantine mindset. Tabitha made it and she says, I'm early. I'm so glad to see you, Tabitha. How are things going in your business? And my friend Barbara is here saying, good evening all. How are things going with you, Barbara? What are you working on currently? Last week when you were here, Barbara, I think you said you were like trying to list 50 items that night. And I was like, how does she do it? <laughs> my goal, um, after 10 years of reselling, I'm part time. My goal is like five or 10 things a day. And and 10 is a big push, but I usually, five is like my minimum. I try and do it seven days a week. Sometimes I miss one, but that's the goal. Donna is here from Pennsylvania. Hi everyone, says Donna, great to see you. And we've got Terry is here, hi everyone. And Bora Bora Jen, I just opened a little posh present to myself, a Zadig and Voltaire bag. Oh my gosh, send me a picture on Instagram right now. I've only found that brand once, and I don't know if I've even saying it right, but I sold just a simple Henley top black tie dye, and I, I don't remember exactly, but I remember flipping it and being like, I got like 40 bucks for it. So do you find that brand often? Bolo brands are something we like to talk about on the channel. 
BOLO stands for be on the lookout. And it's about a brand that maybe sells well or is a really expensive retail. We love to share all sorts of tips and tricks for selling online here in the chat. My friend Roxy is here. Give me an update, Roxy, on how it's going with the first couple weeks of eBay. Evolving always, my friend Terry is here. Hello, everyone. Fabulous Friday. Fabulous Friday it is. And you know what's so funny? My family probably laughs at me because I was downstairs like, I don't know. I feel so low energy. It's been like cloudy and rainy. And I'm like, but you know, I bet when I get on the live, I'll just like perk right up. But it was a slow day for me. How about for you guys? Charlene is here from Irit Dreams Reseller. Hello, everybody. Like Grover says, get it. LOL. She's so funny and cute. Just home from Dollar Day at the local thrift shop. Hope everyone fair to middling. Can I just take a moment and say, I'm so happy for you that you have Dollar Day and I'm so jealous and so sad for me that I don't have anything like that. Let's talk about that. Let me just say hi to everybody. Brandy's here from Endless Fashion by Brandy. I'm so glad you made it. I know you said you were going to try and make it. And my friend Babette is here. Babette, tell us about your life with the Dymo. Tell us about Dymo Life, please. The Dymo printer, tell us about it. And my friend Leslie's here from a reseller's passion. Happy Friday, Quenby and friends. Leslie, I noticed I missed your live um, yesterday, and it's because I had a, I don't usually take late clients, but I did for a reason. It was a last minute, and I and it's so bad because I love being a therapist and I love seeing my clients, but I had this moment. It popped up on my screen while I was seeing her via Zoom. Leslie's live with Brandy and I'm like, I'm missing it. I try to be there all the time. It's such a great show. I'll definitely try and catch the replay. Alana made it so good to see you. Oh God, like there's such great conversation. We're gonna get into it. I just wanna say hi to everybody. Hi reseller Wendy. I saw some cute videos that you had up. So make sure to tell people about that in the chat. And Christy Blocker, hey reselling family. Made it early, but still working nine to five. I'm so glad you made it. Rhonda Creek is here saying happy Friday and my friend resale royalty who I just want to say thank you to for commenting on some of my videos this week. I really love it when I get to see you here, talk to you here more on the live and then I'll see you during the week leaving a comment on one of my videos. So I do appreciate that so much. And she's saying, Hey, reseller rock stars, birdie looks, where'd she go? The chat just moved my friend, Nicole birdie looks is here. What are you doing with those kiddos right now? It's Lori Tate. I haven't seen you here in such a while, Lori. I'm so glad to see you, Lori. I was thinking about you actually, because about a year ago, Lori and I did a collab video over at Lori Tata and it was a Valentine's day, like ideas for styling for Valentine's Day. I can't believe that was like a year ago. I wonder if we should do another one, but it might be a little late, but that was so fun. fun. Zoe chat made it. Quenby, I lived your la I loved your last unboxing. You are literally the most positive person I know. I swear I'm not. I'm not even trying to be, but I love you for saying so. I just get so excited about the clothes. I, I miss the chats moving and I want to say hi to Daniela. How's it going in Rhode Island? What is the weather like? It has been gorgeous here. I have such a soft spot for Lori and Daniela and some of my other East Coast friends because I'm from Boston, but I live in California now. But whenever I talk to them and I catch a little slight accent or a little something that I think is so culturally New England, I just love it so much. So I'm so happy to see you guys there here. Kuberly Chaos is with us. She's saying hi. Mickle Pickle Pie said hi. I made it with a glass of vino. Yeah, it's that kind of week, I bet. So glad to see you. And Carrie T says, hello, we don't have dollar days either. I know, but Carrie, you're like, Carrie T is has a channel and she does a lot of high-end fashion designer stuff. So if you need information about that, check her out. Um, I don't think you'd find too much that fits your like designer at the dollar day maybe a couple of things and it'd be like amazing right i said hi to wendy and nicole and here's deb deb ladate is here mama boss hello everyone happy friday i saw on my video that i put out yesterday my thread up video can we talk about that please let me know in the chat if you saw the thread up video and what you thought there's probably some things from that video to talk about and I said, hi, everybody, welcome. And then I started singing the theme song to Welcome Back, Cotter. Let me know in the chat if you're old enough to remember. Welcome back, 
what's the rest of the words to the same old something that we thought about tell me if you're with me if i'm totally humiliating myself right now i'm 44 i watched welcome back cotter and i just left it in i'm like i don't i don't know how many people would even catch it because it was like a two second clip of me singing welcome back Lori cotter's you know cotter style but does anyone even like most of you guys are my people my age group my demographic on youtube is 45 to 60 or something i love it Sarah Lee Coleman is here. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. One of my favorite vintage sellers. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I said hi to Christy and Leslie, my friend Leslie, and Roxy and Barbara and Zoe and Kubali Chaos. I just want to make sure I got everyone. Oh, here we go. We have Minx Laura 123's Wacky World. Hey, yeah. So good to see you. Introduce yourself a little bit because I we have a lot of regulars that show up here every Friday and then we get some newer people to the chat. So make sure to let us know. Do a little intro, even if you think you've done it before. Hey, I'm from here. This is what I sell. And give me a little check in about how things are going for you. Lori says, hi, Quamby. I never catch your lives. Happy Friday night. I know there's just so much going on. You've got such a beautiful family you probably get to be with. Um, Beth Tillman is here. Hi, Quenby and everyone. So good to see you. How's it going with you and your family, Beth? Okay, and Risa Royalty says, definitely doing my Friday shoulders. We should do something like that. Maybe everyone could send me a clip of their Friday shoulders and we could put it together somehow. If I was technologically savvy and knew how to do that, I probably could. 512, my son Torvald, who is nine, usually comes up at 520. We'll see if he remembers. He gets a YouTube break while mom's on YouTube. So um, if, if and when he comes up, he loves when you say hi and I've asked nine-year-old appropriate questions. I'm still working on the hellos and then I have so much to talk to you about. Monarchs and margaritas, where have you been? So good to see you. I've missed you here on the Friday Lives. What have you been up to? Oh my gosh. And Murray life is here. Alicia. I've Alicia has just been doing so much cool stuff on her channel. I really try and get over there and say hi to everybody, but she gets to go to the bins, the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound it's open and she just gets such amazing stuff. So cheap. I do not have the bins open and it hasn't been opened at all. It hasn't been opened at all in 2020 and it's still not open. So I feel jealous. Lake Wanderlust is here. Hi, everyone. I never make it here to a live, and I'm psyched that I made it. Are you the Lake Wanderlust, I think, who won my giveaway recently? If so, I sent out your most adorable poly mailers to you. Angela Hall says, I hate taxes. I use TurboTax. Already dealt with IRS proving income under 20K with no 1099. Wow. I wish I could use TurboTax. My taxes are complicated. And as a self-employed person, that would be a lot. I'm thinking of Lori Tata if she's still here because she married an accountant, which was like such a good idea because then he just like does her taxes and gives her a nice little printout. Deborah Anderson is here saying, hi, friends. How are things in the South? And Kim Miller has made it saying hello. So many great friends, mom and daughter resellers are here. Hi from Montana. Is it as cold as I'm imagining right now in Montana? What is it like? What is it like in Montana as a reseller? I think I asked you last time about like how's thrifting there, but give me the scoop on Montana. Terry says my husband handles the taxes. Mm. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> I actually feel good about myself and kind of proud when I do it. And I hired an accountant last year for the first time because I have I have several businesses and it's just a lot to keep, keep track of. But all the power to you if you can do it yourself and you're like super meticulous. I said hi to Rhonda Creek and Christy. Okay, let's get into it. Bora Bora Jen says hit the like button early. As of right now, according to my counter here on my screen, we have 48 friends here with us. So make sure that I should have 48 likes or so. And if you're here or you're watching the replay, make sure you're subscribed so you get notifications about when I go live and when new videos come out. Roxy says, my name is Roxana and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia and working on listing and cross listing. How is that going? I'm really proud of Roxy because she took a big leap and got onto eBay recently. And 
you know, if you come from Poshmark or even Mercari, eBay can seem like a more complicated platform because they just have so many options for sellers. And she's really educating herself and doing amazing. Like she made a bunch of sales her first like week out. So make sure to tell us about that. I said hi to Brandy and Leslie and Babette. Okay, I think I'm doing good. Um, with saying hi. And Terry and Donna, let me see if I missed anything. Great. Let's go down and start our conversation. Deb says, to my praying resellers, please pray for my little Alzheimer's lady. I have taken care of for four years. I'm currently with her at the hospital and she has pneumonia and isn't progressing well. I'm sending some healthy thoughts to her and to you too as a support person and probably a grieving person. That is rough. And it's so amazing that you do that. I just love that you do that. And I like learning a little bit more about you, Deb. Um, let's see. And I see lots of prayers going from Carrie and everybody else. Fantastic. Carrie says, I married an electrician. Maybe an accountant would have been good too. <laughs> I know, but like an, an electrician or anyone, my partner PD is so handy with like fixing things and helping and taking things apart. He was just giving me a lesson on my new camera that I got. Here's Holly, 54 here, and I almost killed John Travolta right before his Pulp Fiction um, comeback because we lived in a fly-in community, which meant no street lights to distract from one way, and he was skating at 2 a.m. That is such a crazy story, Holly. That is insane. Oop, flipped out there. Give us a little check-in, Holly, about your huge purchase. I follow Hunter Ryan Holly on Instagram, and there were pictures of her and a friend, like with an, it was it a pallet, just a mass of clothing in the back of a truck, and they're just taking it apart and pulling it. I've never bought a huge quantity like that. Let me know in the chat, have you bought a pallet or a half pallet, or what's the biggest amount you've ever done? Honestly, I think getting like a 50-piece mystery box or something is the biggest I've ever done, except when I've gone to the bins in the past and gotten like hundreds, a hundred pounds or something of clothing, but I have not stepped into that world. Where are you guys um, at with that kind of stuff? Sarah Lee says, love, love your unboxing. Amazing goods. I did, um, I think it came out yesterday, a thread up unboxing or a women's rescue box. And it was really good. There were some Bolo brands in there that I've always wanted to find and just some crazy stuff that I'm still researching. Um, let's see. Lori says, I highly recommend marrying an accountant. Oh, yeah. And oh, here's my mom. Everyone say hi to Barbara Kemmler, who is AKA Grateful Babette. You've seen her in some of my videos. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. <laughs> Thrilled to be here. Hello, everyone. I'm so glad my mom doesn't even have a computer. She watches on her phone. And she'll often message me afterwards and tell me how great everybody in the community is and how much she loves everyone and how positive and friendly everybody is. And she just has trouble commenting from her phone, but she's always here and she's um, she's super supportive. Alana says, anybody know any single accountants? <laughs> especially during tax season. Like maybe you can get on some of those like Tinder or dating apps and be like looking for an accountant fling. We'll trade dates or something. That's awesome. I see Leslie here and um, oh, she's talking saying she lives in Philly. I'm going to be on Leslie's channel on Monday. So look for us live. Leslie and I have done a few live collabs and it's so great because she and I like you know us, we just get on our little soapboxes about reselling and business and then also like all the lifey stuff and the inspiring, motivational, personal growth stuff. So we're I think we're kind of like a good duo. So come find me live on Leslie's channel on Monday at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Yes, it was Lake Wanderlust who won my giveaway. I love doing giveaways on Instagram. It's super fun. And I got all these really cute poly mailers. I love using poly mailers, but I don't like buying them because I'm kind of frugal and cheap and they're not absolutely necessary for shipping. I can use like the free eBay mailers or I can use free USPS packaging supplies. So I feel a little bit guilty buying them, but they're so fun. So I bought them to give away. I, I was like, I'm gonna keep these. No, I'm giving them away. <laughs> it was so fun. Oh my gosh. 
Endless Fashion by Brandy. Brandy says, I've never been to the bins. I'm so jealous. The closest one is an hour. Brandy, an hour is nothing. Get yourself a coffee and like make a day of it. Take the drive, listen to some podcasts and go and just like spend the day. Do the morning there and then check out and then maybe get a lunch and go back. It would be so worth it. Now, everyone's bins are different. Uh, so if you don't know about this, we, we call it the bins, but it's actually called um, the Goodwill Outlet. So if you don't know, you can Google Goodwill Outlet in my area and find one near you. I have one near me like 20 minutes, but it's super rough. And I kind of, I went for a while, then I avoided it. And I got a little particular with my sourcing and I'm like, oh, I just want to go to the nice, well lit, you know, beautiful Salvation Army. And my bins is like so gross. Oh. Hold on a second. I'm in the middle of saying something. Visitor. This is my son Torvald. Most of you know him because you're here every Friday. But he also appears in many of my videos. He is my marketer on YouTube who reminds people to subscribe because I'm not good at remembering. Any questions for a nine-year-old who loves chickens and Minecraft and probably homeschooling? He loves when you say hi. Mickle Pickle says... I will be on a thrifting freeze for the next week or two. I also, Why? I oh. also like it when you subscribe. We also like turn it. Turn on the no notifications. Tell them, tell them why the notifications is important because I slept on that for like, I don't know, a year. Sonia made it. I'm so happy. I'm sorry it took me a minute to say hi. So happy I made it to this one. Hello from Boston mm -hmm. at Moda Birkin. Where we, um, my family is from near the Boston area, so I fly into Boston usually every year. We go to Maine. We go to New Hampshire. Oh, I haven't seen my friend Lisette yet. I hope she's doing okay. Let's see if there's any Torvald comments down here. Sonia's saying hi. And Endless Fashion by Brandy says, hi, little one. And Kim says, hi there, Torvald. Birdie Lux, my friend Nicole. I hear that name a lot. Birdie looks because she comes every Friday and she's awesome and she's a mama and she's got two little kids too littler than you and she's like an amazing very motivated reseller hi Trisha I see you hi Torvald how are your chickens tell them tell like not That's not not super long but tell a little version of your story why I say hi to people What's we're getting caught in the chicken coop I think they can hear you when you say hi all right. Well, anyway, hi, Torvald from Mississippi. Yeah, Alicia from Murdered Life has the best accent. Go find her in her videos just to listen to how cute she is. I see chicken emojis. <gasps> Terry. Terry knows what to do. Oh, here she Five extra points for chicken emojis. Terry gets five extra points for chicken emojis. Five extra points. Mm -hmm. Terry, do you have an incubator to hatch fertilized eggs? My granddaughter got one for Christmas and just hatched three of her chicken eggs. It's so exciting. Terry, that is awesome. Hi, Fashion Cat. I see you. Uh, no. We have um, an area to raise chicks. We usually just buy them as chicks and then raise them. Yeah, he gets them as little chicks, and I got to hold one. And you know that feeling of, like, little tiny bones and so fragile and little fluffy feathers. That's how I feel sometimes. <laughs> like a little baby fragile chick. I think we all some, Oh, here we go. Beth Tillman's giving you a chicken. Point for chicken. Points for chickens. Oh, she has chicken. Hey Torvald. Oh, she and Terry, our good friend, Terry, good friend of the channel says hello Torvald. And she got an egg cracking. Torvald gives Peter and I One chicken school. And a half for chicken emojis. Uh-huh. Islet Dream says, hi, Torval. Nice to see you. Hope your week has been good and that you have fun and relaxing weekend. I love how there's a home and a smile. A home and a smile. That's a really good emoji, too. You guys are so nice. I appreciate. We just do a few oh, minutes a lot of with Torvald, and we have a little family moment, and then we get back. Yep, Beth Tillman's earning some points there. <laughs> fashion cat says i like that name torvald we're norwegian and you are so gorgeous fashion cat with your and you have like pink highlights Can you see right there? i know zoe zoe i want five extra points long point to get her chickens zoe chat any progress three extra points point for chicken emoji okay i wanted to say something um any progress on the jomar stuff um that you were talking about last week zoe any progress Thank Carrie you. T has a super sticker oh, yeah. for us. Oh, yeah. Every time 
Oh my god. I want to tell you something, friends. I do not watch the replays of this video. Hi, Sherla. I see you. Um, when I first started doing lives, I would watch them and I'd be like, oh, Quemby. Oh god, you're so excitable. Oh, you're so... And and then I just stopped because I was like, I'm not watching them because I'll probably never do another live if I watch them, but we have fun. We have a house where we can be silly. Thank you, Carrie T. Thank you for your help with so much lately. Um, we have... Mickle Pickle Pie is asking, how many chickens do you have now? And then we'll finish up the chicken so portion. we're going to get two more soon in less than two months. But right now we have four. And then if you count marks... I forget what the chicken was. Four chickens is what the phone got. And I was at like 36. Okay. Seven. Love you. I'm going to get back into the reselling chat. You're welcome to stay, but I'm going to get back into the retelling chat. Okay. Oh, I want it, but I want to say um, thank you to Carrie T. And Carrie T. has left us a super sticker, which I totally appreciate. It means a lot to me. Thank you for supporting this live. Love you, T. Um, and check out her channel, you guys, because I was over there recently. Number one, she has the best voice ever. She has, like, that New York accent. But she really focuses on designer stuff, you guys. And it's so so good to learn. Like, just look at the labels she's showing you. She's helping me right, right now with trying to authenticate a designer item. Is it designer, a, a streetwear, expensive streetwear piece? Let me know if you caught that video in the chat. Um, and it's like, it's so helpful to have a reselling friend that I can talk to about that and try and like problem solve. So I appreciate you. Love you. We've also done some collabs. Thank you so much. Um, let me see where we are. Endless fashion by Brandy says, Torvald, you should come help me clean watches. That's so funny you mentioned that. I don't know if Leslie's still here, but um, Leslie did a video on her channel about selling DIY watches, you guys. And I got a bunch of DIY watches because I got some jewelry mystery box a while back from Shop Goodwill Online. And I've sold a bunch of that stuff, but I got these watches and I wasn't sure what to do with them. Okay, love um, you, bye. I just want to say 599. Okay, goodbye. Love you. I get too distracted. Love you, but go do your thing. Oh, I love my kids. I love my, I love being a mom. It's the most fulfilling job I've ever had. <laughs> anyway, so I want to um, learn about that along with you. Leslie says she sold them as DIY because they don't have batteries, but they're nice watches. I have a bunch of random stuff like that I need to sell. Hunter Ryan, thank you, Holly, for the feed fund. I so much appreciate it. Will you give me some details? Did you put it in there about that, like, major haul? And Holly's been working on her posture room, and it, it's been so fun because first it was just an idea she was talking about, and she's really been working on setting up her reseller room. So definitely go follow her on YouTube and Instagram. She's putting out a lot of helpful information, and she's hilarious. Like, I was so glad she came on to the um, holiday show and I just, like she cracked us up if you I know that's past but we did a live Christmas party show go and watch it because it was so fun and funny Alana says I need to sell my watches was wondering if I should replace the batteries first but I don't think so so I did see another video Alana where somebody went out and they got like they went and just bought a bunch of um uh battery watches they're not expensive you can buy like packs of them and they had them on hand, and when they got the watches, they did replace them. So that's one thing you could do. Or I, Leslie was saying I could list them as DIY and say, hey, they don't have a battery, needs a battery. So I'm going to educate myself, too. I'll make a video about it if you guys want. Debbie R, I see you, but I am missing so much because I'm blabbing. Okay, let me get up here because I saw another. Birdie looks a super set, a super sticker. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it your support of me in the channel. I actually won for the first time I won in like anything that I can remember on Instagram. Birdie looks did the most generous giveaway, a hundred dollar Joe Mar card. And I won and I never win anything. So I was so excited. And guess what, Nicole, guess what I used it for? I used it on Joe Mar to buy the makeup box. I'm going to unbox it on the channel. They had up 50 new with tags unopened makeup supplies. I thought it would be so fun. So thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Okay. Sherla is here. I want to say hi. I saw you come in. I'm so happy to see you. And let me see where we are. Oh my gosh. There's so much. I love you guys so much. There is, oh, Melissa made it. Hey, Melissa, I was watching your show the other day, your live show with Nicole and, um, 
Polly, I got interrupted. I got to go wa watch the rest of it. I've done some collabs with Melissa at Vandy's Closet. She's awesome. Okay, let's see what Leslie had to say. Here she is. I appreciate you so much, Leslie. You always share everything with us, and I just appreciate that. She says, watches are selling great. I just sold a CCCP Russian watch for 65 bucks from my Goodwill Blue Box haul as a DIY without battery. Great. I imagine you have a video on it, Leslie. If so, I'm going to come over and watch. I have Fossil. I have all these watches that look really cool with leather bands. But I'm like, what do I, you don't know if they work. So what do you say? Like DIY doesn't have a battery. I think it works. And that's just awesome. See, another category where we could be selling stuff, you guys. Reseller Wendy says, I never win anything either. And I won the list perfectly giveaway. Woohoo! Awesome. Christy says, I just followed you, Carrie T. See, I love you guys so much in our community because follow everybody. Support everybody. The support and the following and the likes and the super chats to support the channel. You give and it all comes back to you. That is the way the universe works, the way God works, the way life works. What you put out is what you draw back. So if you're putting out a bunch of negativity and calling people out and blaming and victim consciousness, that's what you will see. This is me on my soapbox with my opinion. If you are putting out there, hey, I wanna support you. Someone in the ch chat just said I have a channel, pop on over there, go find them on Instagram, go, go like, go subscribe, and guess what? Watch that come back to you. Just say to yourself, hey, listen, I'm going to try this thing about putting out and, and and seeing if the universe gives back what it is that I'm putting out. I'm going to try and be encouraging and supportive and sharing and liking and kind of watch the magic happen. I, I challenge you to do that. Um, anybody who says anything, please go follow, go like, go subscribe, whatever it is that they're doing. Let's be supportive. Roxy says, I did replace the batteries on two watches and sold both. One was a Kate Spade. I just, that is so awesome to hear because I have this idea that watches are like antiquated. Like, do people wear watches? Let me know in the chat if you wear a watch. I haven't worn a watch <laughs> since like I was a teenager. I have my phone all the time, but people are still wearing them. God, I wish you guys would come over and help me deal with these watches. I have a pair of Burberry glasses I haven't listed because I got them in a DIY thread up box. I have, I need help with all this stuff. Oh, I saw a super chat from Terry. I love you. Terry at Evolving Always. Quimby, have a great weekend. I always enjoy your Friday lives. So refreshing. I enjoy your lives. Go on over to Evolving Always. She's got, she's starting out and she's just doing all these amazing YouTube videos where she's interviewing people and they're super motivational. Like you will leave those YouTube videos feeling better. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I learned something. You know, surround yourself with people that have a positive attitude that want to inspire you and motivate you, not drag you down, you know? And Terry's one of those people. I just love, I just, I'm so glad I'm getting to know Terry. The more I get to know her, the more I just like appreciate her. Gino made it. Gino, this is like your third Friday in a row. Way good for you for showing up. I love it. True words have never been spoken. Thank you so much. Fashion cat is saying nice. And Alicia says, I don't wear watches. I have short arms. <laughs> I love you. Isn't it so funny? Like I watch you all the time. I never would have noticed you have short arms. And I feel like it makes my arms look shorter. You know what I was thinking, Alicia? I hope this isn't funny to say, but it's like, I was watching one of your Instagrams and you're at the bins and you look so cute. Like you have these cute jeans and you have high heel boots and you have like the most gorgeous. You're just gorgeous in my opinion. Hope that's okay to say. I'm just like blown away. And I'm like, you go to the bins like that? Like when I go to the bins, I have on like, like I don't want to get dirty and I don't want to look cute. I just have, <laughs> and you just look so pretty every time. I'm like, so amazing. Carrie T says, I'm working on doing a friendship chain just so I'm going to stay connected and know how much they are loved. Tell me more about that. I would love to, I don't know what that is, but it sounds like the best thing ever. James, I appreciate you, James. Carrie T says it's not only very Carrie T says is not only very knowledgeable, she's constantly learning new information. She's a terrific friend. Love her like my sister. Okay, I felt that for sure. Bring it on. I love the love. Um, Zoe Chat says, Holly, if you have any Hannah Anderson, Petit Babo, Jacardi, Mini Boat, and let me know. I love to find good kids' brands. So here's a tip 
on this on this live we share lots of tips and tricks for selling online that are going to help you grow your business zoe just dropped a bunch of names of kids and baby stuff that you can flip for like 15 20 25 bucks those brands are good brands to know so memorize those so if you're outsourcing or you're at the bands you pick up like a hannah anderson pajama set you can flip that for 15 or 20 bucks all those brands so thank you for that Kim Miller says, I love hearing people talk about watches. I have a few to list, but apprehensive about listing. I think I'll give it a try after hearing y'all. Hey, keep me posted. Like, keep me in the loop. Message me on Instagram or something like that if you start doing it, and I'll do the same so that we can learn. Alicia says, I just sold a Hannah for 28 bucks today. Pink puffer. I love that stuff. That's how I got started selling. You know how we always share, like, how did you get started selling? I got started on eBay when Torvald was a newborn. Um, because he got the expensive Hannah Anderson pajamas. They're like $48 new. And I'm like, no, I am a thrifter. I am frugal. And I started searching to find new ones. I found them on eBay. And then I was like, Ooh, that's how it all started. <laughs> okay. Something's just happening. Mickle pickle pie says, I always check the kids section, but end up putting my daughter in my finds. Oh yeah. Let her wear them and then sell them after. Fashion Cat says, maybe we should start a video network to bounce ideas off one another and collaborate. That would be fun. Let me know how you would like to do that. Alana, I have a bunch of Looney Tunes watches. I don't wear watches anymore because I have my phone. I wonder if the Looney Tunes, um, are they like vintage? Because they might be worth a lot. Carrie T says, is there a way to make a list of everyone's channels because I'm happy to join and watch. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Put If you have a channel, put it in the chat. And then we'll see, maybe there is a way. I follow everybody here already, but. <laughs> Fashion Cat said, I thought the same thing about watches because of the trackers. Trackers sell really good. Sold a Garmin Active for 65 bucks in less than 24 hours. I don't even know what a tracker is. I have no idea. Gino says, I'm hooked on your channel. Oh my God, I love that. Isn't it satisfying when you find a channel and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know this channel existed. And you can just binge watch, like just watch video after video. For me, I just love that. Brandy says she got a Gucci watch. Where'd you get it? And Christy says, I love Terry at Evolving Always. I do too. I just met her and I'm like, oh my God, I love her. Um... Okay, going on up here, the friendship chain. Endless Fashion by Brandy says, I thought of testing it to see if it works and keep the batteries for testing only and list that that they have their own, but that, oh, I, I get what she's saying. So she's like, hey, maybe I'll get the battery and just use my battery to test the watches. And then I can say, this has been tested, but you have to put your own battery in. That's genius. 53 friends watching. I hope I have 53 likes and I hope that you're all subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I don't know if you guys even know this, but like if you're not subscribed, um, you you don't get to see the lives until they process like 24, 48 hours later. They don't even show up for you. You don't get the notifications. That's why I always do the bell now. Mm. Holly says, I'll most likely get a second bail. So it's not a pallet, it's a bail. This one is very kid heavy and we do not sell kids. So if anyone's interested in uncharted, just out of bail boxes, Jimbery Justice Carters. Okay, so Holly, that is awesome. You should put that on Instagram too. Holly's willing to make mystery boxes. And I have a video on the channel from earlier this year on how to sell kids clothes and baby clothes because when quarantine first started and nobody could go out and everything was shut, I did one of those asking for free inventory on next door. And I, and this this family was moving. I got like five trash bags full of kids stuff. And I'm like, what am I going to do with all this? And I singled out the pieces that like Hannah Anderson that I could sell on their own. And then I lauded things up and I, I made a whole video about how to do it. So that could be a good business opportunity for somebody to sell kids. So that is really good. Oh, James says, Hey y'all, I'm sorry. I'm so quiet, but I'm processing four shoe boxes from that up. Oh my goodness. Are they good James? Because my shoe boxes have been the best from thread up. I have them on the channel if you want to look and they're hard to get. Like I cannot get my hands on another one. As soon as someone tells me they're up, they sell out and they've been like 
fire. So I did get a DIY designer box. I have not got a DIY designer in like a year because I never make it to get them. So I got one of those. My women's boxes have been amazing. I, I have so much, so many mystery boxes on the way, friends. So get ready because I have a ton of stuff coming my way. Okay. Let's see. Oh gosh, so much is happening. Uh, Alicia from Married Life says, I uploaded my 10 for 10, 10, 10 for $10 Goodwill blue box. If you want to check it out, I, I do want to check it out. I've never seen that box 10 for 10. That's awesome. I just bought a denim box. Um, I haven't bought denim box in a while, but the blue boxes in case someone's watching and they're new or beginner and they don't know, uh, Goodwill does their own mystery boxes. They're called Goodwill blue box. You can Google Goodwill blue box. I have a few unboxings on the channel. They're hit or miss. They're cheap though. So I ordered a denim one because denim is selling for me like crazy right now. This week I actually put out a what sold video. Um, it was what sold on eBay and I haven't put out a what sold video in so long. Um, I've been doing what solds more on Instagram, but denim is selling like crazy for me right now, but I didn't want to get a thread up one cause they've been hit or miss. So we'll see, we'll see how they do. Mickle pickle pie says finally gave up selling most kids. It just doesn't spark joy for me. Oh, I love that. I love buying secondhand kids clothes though. I love it. Does it spark joy? Is that like a Marie Kondo thing? James says, I just found a pair of Fry Boots and Australia Lux Collective. Oh, my God, James. You've been having super good luck with the thread-up boxes too, right? Fry Boots, that'll pay for your box. I mean, I said in my recent video that everyone's like, how do you – you get the best boxes. How do you do it? And my strategy 100% is I just buy a lot of boxes. And you'll see if you watch my videos, some are great, some are amazing, some are mediocre – I just keep moving through. I always make my I always make money on the boxes. So, but the shoe boxes are just like amazing. Sonia says, I'm working on an Instagram post. They take me forever because you probably do quality ones. I'm trying to grow on Instagram and it's like there's so much to learn. I mean, I'm trying to like make some quality posts myself, and it does take a lot. Oh, goddess threats made it. Better late than never. Hi, Quenby. So good to see you, Goddess Threads. I'm so glad you made it. Cuberly Chaos. Yay, I just subscribed to everyone. I'm a binge watcher and a haul lover. If anyone has a channel, drop it here. Thank you so much for doing that. Like, that is what I like to see here. This channel, I try and put out educational stuff, but really, I care about encouraging you and supporting you in whatever it is your business goals are. Whatever they are, let us know and how we can support you. And people show up on this channel every Friday for this live. Like, you'll see a lot of the same people. You'll make friends. You'll learn about hot mystery boxes to buy, if someone's having a sale, if you have questions. I mean, it's just a really supportive, welcoming community. And it's because of people like Cuberly, Cuberly Chaos who are, like, taking the action. Like, oh, she has a channel. I'm going to hop on over there on my phone, and, and I'm going to subscribe and help her grow or help him grow. It will come back to 100%. Oh, Brandy got those in the Goodwill blue box. Man, awesome score. Awesome score. Carrie T says, I have a fun coach box video coming and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Coach is enough vogue again, peeps. You know, I bought a coach box earlier in the year. It was $500. Yikes. That might have been one of my biggest purchases. I forget. It was 30 bags. And I think they give me 31. So it worked out to be about $18 a bag. And I have been slowly selling those. I seem to sell like about two a month, but I've made a lot of money on those bags. And some were little bags that I sold for 30. Some were bigger that I sold for 65. I think the most I've made on one is like 80. But that was a great, that was a great purchase. And they came with COA, Certificate of Authentication. And I got that on the Goodwill website, shopgoodwill.com. I have tons of videos on my channel about buying stuff from Shop Goodwill. I have two boxes in my hallway right now that need to be opened from Shop Goodwill. So um, it's another great way to get inventory. Another great way to get inventory. Yeah. Cubely Chaos says, I did the next door donations as well, and I got over 50 huge bags. Oh my gosh, from various people, and over half of them went straight to thread up. Wow. You know, and it's like 
some of the stuff I got for free was like duds that I had to redonate or throw out because it was really like trash, but some of it was great and that was fine. That's the way it goes. Keep an open mind, manage your expectations. You're going to be fine. Okay. Carrie T says, does anyone want to go through this and write everyone's channel and send it somehow? Why not? Who wants to volunteer for that? And the way I'd love to see it work, friends, is like a reciprocal thing. Like, okay, here's the list. I'll subscribe to you. You like subscribe back. I don't know what they call it. Follow for follower, subscribes for subscribe. And hey, you might get like 10 new subscribers in a day. And I remember what it was like trying to get to 1000, let's say, or trying to like meet my next milestone. And you know, it, it's like that. It's like a few subscribers here and there, a few followers, a few likes. That's just the way it goes for most of us. So every little bit helps. So that's awesome. Donna from Lucky You Boutique. Always great to see you, Donna. I just recently posted a coach rescue box unboxing that I found with my daughter, Sophia, on my channel. Awesome. Is it Lucky You Boutique? Put your channel in there for sure. So many great friends here. People are talking about collabing together. That sounds awesome. Barbara Babash said, my sales have been great this week, especially in jewelry. Tell us a little bit about, Barbara, about selling um, jewelry and what have you, like, wh why do you think that's been great? Like, what's working out? I, I got some jewelry boxes a while back. And one tip, like something that I learned is it's so much easier to sell jewelry if it has a name brand or it has something special about it, like it's an animal or something someone might collect. But I didn't stick with it. I have a bunch of jewelry for sale. I got a bunch of it because I wanted it for me. And then whatever I didn't want, I sold. That's a major perk of being a reseller. Oh, look. Yoso Boho. I love that. Rescue Treasures came over via Gino's Finds. I have a channel too. Boho girl myself. I live in Northern California. Boho fashion is my favorite. So make sure you are subscribed and um, fantastic. Great to meet you. Thanks, Gino, for sending her over. Fashion Cat says, I can't sell denim to save my life. And I have some really good brands. What brands are selling, Quemby? I just did a What Sold video. Um, <clears throat> you know what sells great for me that I had kind of given up on, but now I'm back into Levi's. Levi's jeans I can sell for like 20, 30, 40 bucks. Um, Levi's are doing great for me. I just sold a J brand. I'm pulling up my phone because I want to give you real information, but I um check out my What Sold on eBay video. Free people jeans, of course have been selling great for me. Um, a lot of like, even like the juniors brands, jeans, American Eagle, Hollister, all that stuff. My jeans bins are like super empty right now. So I need to get some more jeans. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Leslie, I'm interested in that box says James. And Endless Fashion, I just got the denim one also from the like, Let's compare boxes. Um, and James says about the thread up boxes, they've been insane, Quemby. They really have. I'm telling you, they have. Oh, Leslie says, I just received a men's and, and women's 10 for 10 box from Goodwill Blue Box. I'll film a video tomorrow. I have so many unboxing videos coming. I've been sourcing online like crazy. Me too. I don't know what went over me this week, but it was like, <laughs> I bought, I, I made a list because I don't want to lose track of what I bought. Like, I have two back stock orders coming. That's a wholesale company. If you're curious, I have videos about it on the channel. Joe Mar for the win. I have a 10% off discount link. You can use the code, the grateful queen. Joe Mar, I'll just say it like it is. Their shipping takes a long time. That stinks. Okay, whatever. I'm going to order and know it takes a long time. The boxes are amazing. I just got women's boxes from them. I mean, the stuff I got in those boxes, it's its run-of-the-mill stuff like bread and butter, but major designer pieces. I got a bunch of Hugo Boss women's. That stuff is so expensive. I got all these Italian blazers. So Joe Mar and ThreadUp are my favorite right now. And just watch the videos and take a look and be like, would that work for me? But check out Joe Mar. Yes, it takes a long time to get a box. I get it. It's frustrating. But I just readjusted my expectations, which is what you have to do as a entrepreneur as a self-employed business person all the time. I just say, I'm ordering the boxes and they won't be here for a month, whatever. If I need something faster, I'll choose a different place to buy from. 
So Lake Wanderlust. I tried to get the Y2K Streetwear Goodwill box today at 6.04. It was already sold out. That's a good point. Goodwill Blue Box sells out really fast. You have to be on there at like, for me, it's 3 o'clock, East Coast, 6 o'clock. You just have to be on there and you put something in your cart and you check out right away. And, you know, they sell out because they're cheap. But I've never seen, Brandy says, I would like to see the 10 for 10 one. I've never seen that. Heidi is with us from Restyle Secrets. Hey, Heidi, how's it going with you? What's happening over in eBay land for you? Lake Wanderlust says, I got the denim one about a month ago from Goodwill Blue Box. It was pretty good. Some solid and some matte, but overall it was good. It was so fun to open. I know you guys, that's why I love mystery boxes. And you know what? Something I've learned is the ones that I'm like holding up and I'm like, eh, okay, that stuff sells. I'm telling you like the the, the kind of like lower end brands, like the Style and Co jeans and the Coldwater Creek and the that stuff sells. I, I did a video of what I'm not doing anymore. Hey, Veronica. I did a video of like what I'm not buying anymore or what I'm not doing anymore in my reselling business. And one of the things on my list, that video was really fun to make. You should check it out. It's like things I'm no longer doing. And one of them was sourcing designer jeans because I get all excited about these current Elliott jeans or these acne jeans, like, oh, and they do not sell for me. They sit there for like a year. I have them up for like 60 bucks, then it's 50. Then it, I'm trying to get move them for like 25 bucks and I can't. But give me some old Navy rock star jeans or some American Eagle jeans or some Levi's and they just move like boom, 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 they sell. So is, is it just me or do you guys have that experience? Because I do. Veronica's made it. And she said hi to Wendy and Melissa and Elaine and Heidi. Go, so good to see you. Um, Mickle Pickle Pie says, I just try to buy jeans for $3 or less. Then brand matters less. It's a good point. If you get your cost of goods low, you can flip it for low. Let's see. Isla Dreams reseller, you're the sweetest thing. James says, style sells better than brand sometimes. If you have low rise or mid rise, maybe that's why they're not selling. Yeah. I'm not even talking about that. Like with the designer stuff, these are like hot things. I think people don't want to pay so much money for pre-owned designer jeans. I don't know. Carrie T says, men's jeans that have any type of embellishment sell like crazy. Robin jeans, true religion, lucky. That is true. My two of my best flips of the year of 2020, both came from a Jomar men's box. Both were jeans. Oh, I love when I get a notification that I just sold something on Poshy. Um, they were, but they were like a paint splattered pair of men's designer jeans. sold for $105 in less than 24 hours, like within hours on Posh. And the other pair of the jeans were like so destroyed and they sold for 150 bucks right away. So that's a really good tip from Carrie T. Yeah, men's designery type jeans. That's right. Oh, good. We still have eight minutes. Thank goodness. It's going so quick. Brandy, I love backstock. Watch my videos, though, and see if it would work for you. It works for me. Backstock's a wholesale company, kind of, and you but you get a membership. Sometimes they have deals on the membership, and then you can shop on there. And super cheap, new with tag stuff. I have plenty of videos. I just got another box today and they do crazy sales. You guys crazy, like buy one, get one free sale or like, but you know, just tons like sales that you're like, what you're getting stuff for like two, $4. It's awesome. I have a code, but it's only for five bucks off, but Hey, five bucks off is five bucks off. It's in my description. All the best stuff is in my description. All the things that I've already vetted that I love the best tools, the best discount links, they're in my description section. Check it out. Fashion Cat says, I love selling Levi's. I will check it out. I have several free people. And I think James's point again, like the free people that's selling well for me are high rise, super flare right now, like bell bottoms, low rise, no. Boot cut are still, a lot of people are still wearing boot cut. Wendy says, I love when my 16 year old does my YouTube videos with me. Yeah, that's awesome. Zoe says, a bartender at my favorite neighborhood restaurant bar has COVID, as do five regular patrons, so I'm getting freaked out about sourcing in person. I haven't sourced in person in so long. Like, 
I miss it. Like it's a visceral feeling that I miss the thrift stores. Like I miss them. And I'm just being careful. Like this week I was like, I'm going, I don't care. I'm going to wear my mask. I'm going to go to this huge one that you, you can definitely social distance in. But I have not been sourcing. I'm doing everything online. Okay, Barbara Babash says, brand names are the way to go. Sold a 40s, oh, about jewelry. This is great. Listen up, people. Sold a 40s sterling trifari damage brooch for $250? Whoa, you're blowing my mind. Lago sterling silver heart necklace for $120 and a Stephen Dweck brass earrings for $125. Holy moly, Barbara, what do you like get the stuff and then you look it up? Because I don't know like any of the words you're saying. I don't really know anything about. But so you get it in a box and you look it up or are you like a jewelry expert? I haven't sold anything for 250 Like I'm so inspired by you. I did have a good bundle so sale. Um, it was six items. One of them was a coach bag. It came to like 230 and I sent her an offer almost for like 125 I want to say, for six items, done. But I did make the mistake of not factoring in that it was going to be more than five pounds. So on Poshmark, you for, they pay for shipping. I think it's like $7.65, up to five pounds. So if you bundle, you have to be careful because this ended up being seven pounds. So I had to spend an extra $9 and change on the label. But whatever, it was like a good, my profit was 120 So I was like, yes. I really, really appreciated that. Oh, I see another super chatty. Hi, Tabitha from Islet Dreams Reseller. Thank you so much. I've just appreciated chatting with you so much. Like we are friends, like the people that I get to talk to on the live and also on my videos during the week. Like I feel like I know you and we're friends and she has the best YouTube channel. She's new. Like I'm talking like a couple of months. She has the best Canadian accent. She's just the sweetest. Go over there and follow her. And another one that makes me jealous because she goes to these like hospice thrift stores and buys by the bag. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's Miss Denali. I haven't seen you in so long, Denali. Where are you hiding out? Can we do a video? Like I miss you. El, everyone knows El Ducho and it's so great to see her. And she has been killing it and growing. She put an Instagram thing up today of like another office she's running. I'm so inspired. And you used to make a lot of um, YouTube videos, but you're probably focusing on really making money <laughs> in your business. But I would love to bring you back somehow because I miss you. I miss your videos and your cute face. Oh, look at this. And Melissa at Mandy's Closet. Love Melissa at Mandy's Closet is saying hi to Denali. So great. Um, Brandy says, my husband bought a 48-piece Whiting Lily patented 1902 silver silverware with a case. And I have it posted for 5000 Oh, my gosh. I've never even made a sale. Oh, thank you, Denali, you sweet thing. A super chat from Denali saying, everyone hit the thumbs up. I have 57 friends watching. So someone let me know. Do I have 57 thumbs up? I probably should, right? Look at that sweet little face. How is Oliver? Like, what is happening in Oliver's world? How is he doing with distance learning? And my son is home and it's distance learning. And it is like up and down. Like some days, <laughs> let me know if you have kids. Some days I'm like, I'm such a proud mama. I am helping him with his work. This is the best time. I get to be homeschooling with him. I'm doing such a good job. So is he. And then like an hour later, I'm like pulling my hair out because I'm having to do fractions with him. And I am like, yeah, fra like I can't remember how to do fractions. And, you know, it's like, what? What am I doing? Wendy says I have 46 thumbs up, but I have 57 people watching. So how does that work? Could you please hit the thumbs up for me? Denali says some days are better than others, but I feel bad he doesn't get to be with friends. I know because they're starting to be like more social at this age, right? Our sons are like very similar, the same age. So, so good to see you. I just saw something from Leslie. She's talking to Denali and says, I live my hustle through Denali. I don't have the energy for that business model, but I admire her so much. Her hustle is so organic. Leslie, I love it. I love how you see people. Hey, Trisha M, I see you there. I love how you see and acknowledge people. I feel the same way about you, Leslie. 
I feel that way about Denali and I feel that way about Leslie too. Leslie, your hustle is one that inspires me because you're branched out. You're not just a reseller. You're doing so many things. And Denali says, Leslie, you know, I adore you. Yeah. Hi, Trisha M. Yeah. Mom life is the best. She says, speaking of the most fulfilling experience of my life is right here. Beth Tillman says, who is listing and watching anyone listed five while watching? I hope so. A lot of people are watching and they're like taking photos. They're working on their biz and that's just great. Little patch of heaven homestead. Oh my God. That's the best user. <gasps> Torvald, look. Chicken. Oh yeah. You get a million points. She gets a million points for having a chicken. That is the worst part. My son is and an only child. Chickens. We live in the country. So we have limited friends and neighbors. I know the little guy is lonely. I hate that. Same here. You know what we've done? That's really helped. Um, Torvald loves chicken. So we're obsessing about your picture right now. He loves, and he's a chicken daddy. Um, we do zoom like with his friends and I just let him play Minecraft or like sh in his room showing things. And that's not like, it's not a substitute, but it's the next best thing. Melissa at Vandy's closet says I'm listing in photos. Good for you. You should be, you should be working it people working it while you're listening. Brandy said, I bought a fashionable shower curtain at Goodwill for $2.99. And I've cut it and made two big throw pillows to sell. And I plan to make a quilted throw. Oh, my God. You are like DIY goddess. You are amazing. Veronica says, I'm glad my kid is only four. I couldn't fathom homeschooling right now. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Charlene, I appreciate you so much. I really, really do. Getting into the home stretch here. Tabitha. Good to see you. All right, people are starting to do their goodbye, so I think we're going to wrap it up here, but it goes, like, so quick. You've been going for an hour. No and way. Like 31 seconds. I think it's and been, it's like, six, 15 minutes. And it's 6.01. Depop raised their shipping costs, but you can choose a size, says Carrie T. Man. I know. I know. I wanted to point out also, someone said this earlier. I think it was our friend... Um, Nicole at Birdie Looks, that Vendu, who I love and who I have a 25% off uh, discount code for, I love those guys. They are doing amazing stuff, and they just rolled out a new feature that's in beta that I'm testing, which is an analytics to help you um, uh, to have it right within the Vendu platform, your analytics. So you just put in when something sells and you mark it as sold, you put in what you bought it for, what you sold it for so that you can keep track of your analytics right there on the platform, which is just awesome. I love Vendu. Reseller Wendy says USPS prices goes up on the 24th. So that may be why I wonder if all carriers are going to go up. And I forgot about that. So thanks Wendy for that reminder. Um, because it's January and they usually have a price increase and it feels expensive to me now, but not for what you really get when you think about how you can take a box me here in California and ship it all the way across the country for like seven bucks. It's pretty awesome. awesome. Mm. What's this Roxy? Did you guys see that you can have a shipping discount on Poshmark form from the get go? I did see that. I haven't, I saw someone post about it, but I haven't seen it yet. So I think they're giving you an, an option now on offers that is a different amount, not just the $4.99. Lake Wanderlust says, I need to branch out to Depop. My daughter sold a few things on there last year. I've never even been over there, but listen, get on Vendu and then you can cross post from, you know, eBay, Poshmark, Tradesy, Kitizen, Depop, Mercari. I mean, it's so simple. If I was a full-time reseller, I would be all over that. As a part-timer, I'm doing what I can, but I think that is the next, if you want to make more money reselling online, it seems smart that if you have this phone for sale, you list it on eBay. But it, but in one minute, you also can list it using Vendu on Macari. Or if you have this thing, which you guys need to get in life. It's like awesome. That thing is awesome. Can I steal this from you? No. Nicole says, Vendu just came out with the most amazing feature ever. Oh, my God. I'm liking it. I'm. Are you testing it now? What is um Melissa at Vandy's Closet says, I noticed today I had a... Cost of goods spot on Vendu. I'm excited. Me too, because why not? You're already going on there to mark an item as sold on Vendu. It deletes it off all the other platforms. You just put in there what you sold it for, what you bought it for. Boom, you're going to have like analytics right there. Hey, Mo, you made it from Albuquerque. 
I have a 15 year old and it's miserable. So many of you know, I'm a full-time psychotherapist, a part-time reseller, and I primarily work with teens. I work with everybody who wants to, but primarily teens. They're in the, the teenagers are definitely suffering the most. Like the 12, 13, 14, I mean, because they become so peer oriented at that time in their life where peers become their point of reference. They become, they need their peers even more than they might need their good old mom and dad. Like, you know, we still need to hold them close, but they need the friendship time. And it is a hard time developmentally for teenagers to not be near their friends. They are the ones that are really struggling. Islet Dreams says, I've been bumping up my items on Facebook local sales and sites while watching this awesome live. Bumping totally helps sales. Is bumping like a term for something? I don't know what that means, but yeah, I think it's awesome that you do you do local. Beth says made a sale. See, we're like your we're like your charm, your good luck time. Love you and appreciate you too. Quemby says, my good friend Charlene, I love her. And Roxy yeah. says, I love Vendu. And Holly says, yeah, mine was a kid some too. So I figured that is what you meant. As you said, set teacher, it is stage mom code words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Um, cool. Okay, my friends, I've got to get ready to start going here. But it's so sad because then I know I'm not going to see you guys for a week. I love mom code. Oh, look at some chickens. Um, extra points. Oh, from Evan and Lana. Um, you get um, two points and a half. Is that one really nice? Yeah. They've got kids, Evan. Hi, Evan and Lana. We hope you're having a good night, and we hope you are letting your reselling parents watch this very important video. And we hope you have hit the like button and notified. If you haven't, then only one point. Thank you for those chicken emojis. Sarah Lee Coleman says, I appreciate the comfort of your channel, Quemby. That is so nice to say. Because for me, it is like, Every Friday, I know what I'm doing. I'm here at five o'clock. And if I don't feel good, I still show up. And if I feel great, I'm so happy to be with you. I always feel better when I go. I always feel inspired and motivated. I always feel connected. And that's because you guys show up every week. Many of the people you see in the chat here are here almost every Friday. So we've built relationships. We know each other. We can help each other. We can hear each other. It is the best thing. Veronica says, I teach other people's kids for a living. I don't want to teach my own. <laughs> Aside from life lessons, I totally hear you. I'm like a child therapist. And let me tell you right now, I'm really great with your kids. <laughs> and then with my own, I'm like, uh, what am I going to do about that? You know, and you shouldn't be a teacher for your own kids. And you shouldn't be a therapist for your own kids. I just save money for therapy because I know Torvald. Are you going to need some therapy? Yeah. Are you going to need some? <laughs> Little Patch of Heaven says, yes, oh, we more chicken. chickens. Yes, we do messenger kids with his cousins and it helps. Yeah, it really is. Carrie says, homeschool's hard. I had to do that for a few years with my son and it was tough. I was so happy when a set teacher took over. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Lake Wanderlust says, yes, I have one who loves remote school and thankfully has one friend in our bubble. Then I have another kid who finds remote school torture. That's the way it is, right? It's like we all have different personalities. Good for you, Roxy says, I shared my closet while watching. Remind me to talk to you about that. I just want to say it. No, I have not been here for an hour and eight minutes. No. That's ridiculous. Well, you have six to eight. Yo, so boho. We've got to hook up because I'm a boho girl myself. Super excited to check out all these channels. I am super excited that you're going to do that. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, friends. Trisha M., I'm so glad you made it. Oh, my God. Dusty Leather, you made it. Well, okay, we got it. Gino's finds for the win. How many chickens has Gino left? Yep, Gino. That's it. You're in. You're part of our community now. You're part of our reselling family. Once the chickens show up for Torvald, that is just it. 25 points to you. 25 points. For Gino. And here's Barbara Babash's closet and her eBay store. Definitely check out her closet. She is a good businesswoman. She's got a great closet, lots of good finds in there. And now we know she's doing jewelry too. Carrie says, so lovely to see everyone tonight. Family waiting movie night. Have the best week. And I bet my mom, Barbara Babash, my mom, Barbara Babash, my mom, Barbara is here too. So we want to say, say hi to Grammy and good night to her. 
She's here. Grammy's always here. Grateful but bad. Okay, friends, I love you. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like button on the way out. That really helps me. And if you're not done yet, just go watch some of my other videos that I put out this week. I would love to chat with you there. And if you haven't liked them, make sure you like them. And hit the Vivi. Thing. Vivi said, listen to you all the time. Now I need to list, but I just got motivated. Yay, I'm so glad you made it. Definitely come earlier next time so we can learn about you more. Okay, bye, friends. See you next week.